Should you buy the Apple USB-C SD card reader for your iPad Pro? Let's find out. So first of all, check this out. I have a brand new case for my iPad Pro. Just a simple clear case. If you want me to make a video about this case, let me know in the comments down below. Look how many dongles I've collected for my iPad Pro. Let's start with this one. This is the first dongle that I bought for my iPad Pro to transfer files from my GoPro camera, from my other camera to the iPad Pro. It has a regular SD card slot, a micro SD card slot, a USB, A port, and it's very cheap, cost around three to five dollars, something like that, but it is extremely, extremely slow to transfer files with this dongle. So I went ahead, upgraded the dongle to this one to have faster transfer speeds, but unfortunately this SanDisk dongle is not working properly all the time with my iPad Pro. I've made a video about it, if you wanna watch it, I'm gonna leave a link up here. And a couple of days ago, I went ahead and bought the overpriced Apple SD card reader for around uh, $45 here in Thailand. Very, very expensive, but I think it's gonna be worth it in the long run. So now I want to show you kind of the differences between these SD card readers and if it's worth to buy uh, this one from Apple or not. We're also gonna test uh, file transferring, which one is the fastest and you'll decide for yourself if it's worth to buy the Apple one or not. So let's start with the cheapest one. No brand, no nothing, just a simple SD card reader. Plug it to my iPad Pro, go to the Files app, and we already have some issues. No, everything is fine. I'm gonna go to GoPro, and I have a file here that's 2.35 gigabytes. Click on that, move it on my iPad Pro. And I also opened here a timer. And let's see how fast it's gonna transfer the file from here to my iPad with the cheapest dongle. Three, two, one, go. Okay, so that took around one minute and 23, 22 seconds, something like that. Let's go ahead and delete this file. Next one that we are going to test is the SanDisk SD card reader. Maybe it's not even going to work. Let's see. Plug it in. and I think it's not working. That's the problem with the SanDisk, it's just not working properly with the iPad Pro. I don't know for what reason. Let's try to replug it again. Okay, now it's working. Select the file, move it on my iPad, and three, two, one, go. I think it's not transferring the file at all because this light in here is supposed to blink when it's transferring. So I think it's not working at all at the moment. All right. So it finished copying the files, the file from the SanDisk SD card reader to my iPad and it took one minute and 41 seconds. So this one is slower than this one without any brand name, nothing for just $3. I paid for this one around $25 from SanDisk. Do not buy this one. All right, so now let's go ahead and test the Apple SD card reader. This is supposed to be the fastest. Let's see, GoPro, I'm gonna copy the same file, move it on my iPad, and three, two, one, go. So 
So, as you can see, the Apple dongle is the fastest between these three. This one was 1 minute and 23 seconds. This one was 1 minute and 41 seconds. And the Apple dongle was only 35 seconds. So in terms of speed, this one is the fastest one and also the most reliable. It's way more reliable than this one in my personal opinion. I've been only using the Apple dongle for a couple of days, but I can tell you it's really reliable. Uh, it also supports UHS-2 speeds, so you can expect very fast transfer speeds between a, a UHS-2 SD cards to your iPad Pro. Do I recommend buying this to your iPad Pro? Definitely. Even though it's expensive, but it's gonna be well worth it in the long run in my personal opinion. If you want to purchase this SD card reader for yourself, I'm going to leave a link down below in the description. And if you have any questions or comments, let me know down below, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.